wake up! Welcome to another episode of No Script News. It's Potion coming at you from my living room. And the completionist is 86th, just like the Last of Us factions. But before we begin, again, do not like this video. I am still wanted for stealing my neighbor's cats. They keep on knocking. Let them in. First of all, The Last of Us faction has been in development for about four years or so. And Naughty Dog just recently said that it is canceled. Now, the reason why is because supposedly the game is so big and awesome in scale that if they release it, they'll have to just keep on uh, supporting it because it's so great, you know? And it's going to last forever because it's a life service game. And all life service games always last forever. And instead of just releasing it, you know, and letting people just have a go at it because it's four years in development. Uh, they decided to just axe it because they want to concentrate on single player games. You know, they're bread and butter. Now, obviously, I understand why their games are pretty good. You know, they're single player games. So I'm not going to deny it, but... um. I just don't understand. I mean, all that time and money and effort put into the game just to cancel it last minute because they didn't want to become a live studio studio. But, I mean, can't they just give that game to someone else? Can't they just build a live studio to keep on working on the game after the fact? I mean, you don't need all your people on it. I mean, just release it as a multiplayer game. Don't got to be live service. You know, if you can keep it going, cool. But if not, just release it. Anyways, The Completionist. He's been in the news lately. I, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but everybody and their mother's talking about him and his charity scam, allegedly. And recently he was removed from one of my favorite games that I'm still taking my time and playing. It's so awesome. Indie game Sea of Stars. He was <laughs> he was an NPC in this game. And uh, it's, it's just funny because he asked for donations and stuff in there. <laughs> and Sea of Stars just like, nope. Uh... And they removed him from the game. Um, I think it's the right thing to do. I mean, obviously, what he did and how he hasn't come forward to with all the information that needs to come forward and actually admit what he has done. Instead, he's trying to be all combative, trying to um, trying to instill the fear of suing some ordinary gamers and and Carl. I mean that response that Gerard, Gerard did um, was like he was backed into a corner and it was like a desperation move because if he were to just apologize and come clean I mean he could be putting himself in trouble so I understand but I mean this situation is not getting better now he's being dumped by devs and Gerard knows the shit that he's in, obviously. Even if I survive this somehow, even if this is like, people are like, well, whatever, that's how it is. It's, it's gonna take the passion out of what I do. I like, no, I'm, I'm, people aren't gonna trust me ever again. I'm not gonna trust myself ever again. And I'm just gonna walk away from all this. Like I, I just, this is like me being like, great. So I'm out, not just a, of, of content creation or, or being an online personality. I'm just going to I'm just going to stop. I'm just going to disappear and start over and and never talk to anyone ever again. Now, this just goes to show that you can't really trust the people behind the camera, man. You know, if you get that little little spidey sense, you know something might be up. I don't know. Um It's just a sad fall from grace, you know? But uh I think he's done pretty much. Uh, I don't think the story is done by far. I think he's probably gonna get investigated you know and we'll see what happens but um 
Man. Like, imagine being put in a game. I mean, that's an opportunity of a life. A game like in this caliber, not like a stupid indie game. Like, well, it's an indie game. But I'm not like somebody's game that they're, they're making in their backyard and it's like full of asset flips and stuff like that. I mean, this is an actual game, you know, that can, that would be wondrous for an average person to be put in. And then he just squanders it. I mean, imagine other people out there. Whew, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of other people being looked into their charities. And uh, this is just like the tip of the iceberg. Exactly how I was with the crypto scams. This is a, the tip of the iceberg of these uh, charity scams. Watch. You know, I'm going to keep on watching too. You know, this story is interesting. But, um, you know, I let, the, I let the experts take care of, of all the uh, investigating of all that stuff. And I just stick to the things that I find relevant. And Sea of, Th sea of Stars is a game that I just hold dearly. It's, it's a great freaking game. And it's on Xbox Game Pass if you haven't played it. And now that the completionist ruined his opportunity. Sad times. One thing that isn't sad is Xbox Game Pass on Meta. On freaking Oculus 2 and 3. Um, I have the Oculus 2. I don't really play many games on it to tell you the truth. In fact, my freaking strap broke. But um, I'm going to give it a shot and see... Like, supposedly you can play, um, the games aren't in 3D, obviously, because they aren't uh, made in 3D. But you can play Starfield in, like, a big old screen, you know, um, and force uh, another game. So, I mean, it might be fun. I'm not sure how I'm going to, you know, I like gaming but like that. But, I mean, watching videos, doing stuff like that is pretty cool. So, anyways, if you have uh, an Oculus 2 or 3, I haven't bought the 3, I don't think I'm going to buy the 3. Um, I'm going to wait till maybe the 4, and then we'll see how clear and awesome that is, you know? I want to be able to actually be, like, in real-time worlds and, like, being able to visit my doctors with Oculus Rift type things, like how they promised. You know, something like that. Oh. Now, that's going to do it for this episode of No Script News. Remember, block out the noise, stay informed.